And welcome back. It's about 9.31. New this morning, we're getting our first look at the city's proposed budget for the 2022 fiscal year. It has been a year of financial recovery for our city. RJ Marquez is here to break down some of the key points from the budget and an eye-popping new total estimate for what's ahead. RJ. Yeah, guys, this is uh, historical here. So first of all, to start, I was able to sit down with a group of other reporters with city manager Eric Walsh to get a preview of the budget, which is being presented to city council today. And Walsh wanted to emphasize five key things in the 2022 budget, starting with where we are after the pandemic turned everything upside down. And it appears we're taking positive steps to get back to normal revenue. So some key figures to start, and we just talked about this, this 2022 proposed budget is $3.1 billion total. So so this is the first time in history the city has passed the $3 billion mark. A total of $1.3 billion is in the general fund, which we've broken up into several programs. The city sales tax revenues is increasing after some spring and summer travel, but the hotel occupancy tax or hot fund is still off by about 24% compared to 2019. And of course, that industry took a major hit last year. And some good news, the city is restoring cuts to funds from the American Rescue Plan Act, thanks to funds from that act. Civilian workers will see a slight bump in pay for the first time since 2019 and the city's minimum wage is also increasing from $15 an hour to $15.60 an hour. So there are also recommendations for more streetlights and significant sidewalk repairs. That was a big part of this proposal. So another key message from the proposed budget is taking a coordinated approach on mental health, access to care and technology, and simplifying the way people can get access to affordable housing programs. And the city also wants to make some changes to the way that police officers respond to calls. This was a big part of this. The city is recommending a multidisciplinary team that includes a paramedic, a mental health clinician, and an officer to respond to certain calls for mental health. So this would be a pilot program to start. There are also proposed changes to domestic violence calls that include includes adding more resources to Metro Health's Violence Prevention Division. And finally, another key message from the proposed budget is centered around resiliency. The city is setting aside more than $7 million to make improvements to critical facilities like police substations and fire stations. They also want to create permanent warming and cooling centers, especially in the aftermath of the February winter storm and other public emergencies that we have seen over the past year. This way, people know where they can go to get help during an emergency, and they're not always having to sort of check websites or check, you know, information from us and other sort of media outlets to see where they need to go to get some of that help. So we have a full breakdown, guys, of the proposed city budget on our website right now. Go to ksat.com for more information. There is a lot of stuff there. Uh, the city council is scheduled to adopt the budget on September 16th. Mark Thanks. and Stephanie.